The study is called Unskilled and Unaware of It, How Difficulties in Recognizing One's Own Incompetence Lead to Inflated Self-Assessments. Let me read that again. Unskilled and Unaware of It, How Difficulties in Recognizing One's Own Incompetence Lead to Inflated Self-Assessments. Justin Kruger and David Dunning supplied scientific evidence that incompetence is bliss. At least, it's bliss for the incompetent person. They begin with a news report. In 1995, MacArthur Wheeler walked into two Pittsburgh banks and robbed them in broad daylight with no visible attempt at disguise. He was arrested later that night, less than an hour after videotapes of him taken from surveillance cameras were broadcast on the 11 o'clock news. When police later showed him the surveillance tapes, Mr. Wheeler stared in incredulity. But I wore the juice, he mumbled. Apparently, Mr. Wheeler was under the impression that rubbing one's face with lemon juice rendered it invisible to videotape cameras. Once you eliminate the false clues, the answer becomes obvious. Only the one on the right has a cigar. Dunning and Kruger staged a series of experiments. One experiment involved logic questions from law school entrance examinations. The people who scored most poorly were the most confident that they were good at this and that they had scored well. The other experiments showed similar results. Incompetence forms an unholy trinity of cluelessness. One, incompetent people don't perform up to snuff. Two, they don't recognize their lack of competence. And three, they don't even recognize competence when they see it in other people. If you have colleagues who are incompetent and unaware of it, this study is a useful and convenient tool. We recommend that you send copies of the report, anonymously if need be, to each of those individuals.